Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about the common mistakes that the French learners make frequently when speaking French. Let's dive in. Ah, bonjour, uh, j'habite à maison. À maison, mm -mm, c'est pas correct. Une maison. Be careful, all the nouns have genders. And the ones that are masculine always have masculine adjectives articles, and everything about them is masculine, so be careful. Same with a feminine noun. If it's a feminine noun, all the adjectives and the articles following or preceding this noun should be feminine as well. Ah oui, uh, mon ami uh, Arnaud, il est un personne très uh, motivé et... Il est un personne? No, 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 no. It's tricky because person meaning a person is always feminine. What? Is everybody, when did everybody turn feminine? No, it's not, it's not that at all. Let me tell you what. It's that the word is feminine. Une personne. C'est toujours une personne. It's always une personne. Whether you're addressing a male, a female, whatever in between, up and down, doesn't matter. It's une personne, c'est toujours une personne. So be careful. So naturally, when there is an article, especially indefinite article, or in French, article indéfini, like un, une, or des, you usually see ces or ce sont, which is the plural version, before it, because we're just describing something. C'est un garçon énergique. It's an energetic boy, for example. Even though there was an adjective, but this time, because you're describing it for the first time and it has an article behind it, c'est or ce sont for the plural versions is your best, best choice. Yes, everyone. It's moving on. I lost my tongue. Oh, bonjour. Uh, tu as quel âge? Je suis 10 ans. Uh oh, oh, be careful. We don't use the verb être for age. You don't say je suis. 13 ans, 20 ans, 30 ans. It's totally incorrect. J'ai 30 ans. So the verb that you, that's used for telling the how, how old someone is, is to have, avoir. Unlike English, you don't use être, you only use avoir. J'ai 30 ans. It's a very common mistake. Another interesting, rather confusing concept that a lot of French learners struggle with is the concept of faux amis or false friends. What are false friends? Probably some bad friends like Arnaud. Okay, he, he, he didn't hear that. Anyways, so it's the same words that are used in both of the languages, in this case English and French, that have different meanings. That's why we call them the faux amis or the false friends. A very common example is addition. L'addition means the bill, the, the, the check you receive after having a meal somewhere, for example. But addition in English is it's just math, is, is when you add numbers up, that's, that's what it means. But l'addition, en français, veut dire une facture, or somehow a bill that you receive, the receipt you receive right after you gotta pay for what you had. So, that's one example. Another ex very common example is attendre and attend. Attendre in French means to wait, but attend means to participate in something. Now the same thing, what happens when you want to say participate, how, how do you say participate in French? You either say participer, which is the same word, which is not a false friend here, but its synonym is assister. Assister à un cours, for example, which means to attend a class. But assist, of course, in English means to help. So assister, assist, attendre, attend. They're all false friends, the faux amis. We're going to talk more about common mistakes, but that's it for this video. I wanted to make keep this short, and that's it. If you have any questions, you can ask me right down in the comment section below. I'll see you soon. Au revoir. Salut.